Hey everybody, I'm at CPAC and with me right now is Dr. Simone Gold. Dr. Gold, thank you for coming on so much. I really appreciate it. You know, I believe that in America, our freedoms are under attack. And I think that with all of the things that you've been talking about, and the list goes on and on forever, you're so smart and you're fighting for our country in so many ways. Where do you think freedoms are most under attack? Yes, I couldn't agree with you more. Uh, yes, our freedoms are under attack. And the question is, how are the power brokers that are determined to take away freedom going to accomplish that? We typically think of economic, like loss of economic freedom. We think of Venezuela. We think of loss of religious freedom. And you think of many nations, China, USSR. But actually, the easiest way to take down our freedom is by medical tyranny. Look how fast they got people so scared and so worried. So people kind of voluntarily gave up their freedoms. People mm -hmm. voluntarily gave up their right to associate their right to work, their right to earn a living, their right to go to school, the, uh, what to wear in their face. So medical tyranny is actually the gateway to um, restricting all of our freedoms. And by the way, William, this is not new. This is a very tried and true tactic. If you go back to the French Revolution, Robespierre, reign of terror, they had a committee on public safety, and that committee on public safety told everybody what they could and could not do. This is a well-known strategy, is medical tyranny. Please watch out. Don't ever let yourself fall prey to that fear again that constricts your liberty. It's up to us to retain our, our own freedom. You know, you've given some good information that you don't hear talked about, which is why I want more people to hear more about you. How do people find more about you? I mean, most people know about you, but yeah. there's a lot of, it, it always amazes me when I talk to somebody that's, that's well yeah. known, how many people aren't paying right, attention, exactly. how many people don't know. How can people find out some of the good information that yes. you have? Please come to my website, Dr. Simone Gold, that's D-R-S-I-M-O-N-E, gold.com, and you'll be able to find the non profit that I lead, America's Frontline Doctors, and also Gold Care. The way out of this medical tyranny is to be informed and not live in fear. To do that, you need unbiased medical advice, and you're going to get that at goldcare.com. You can find all of this on my website, drsimonegold.com. Another question for you. I, I believe that in America, we're more united than we realize. We're so divided in America, and they use so many narratives, like you pointed out with the, with, you know, with the whole COVID thing. They use the narratives to divide us up on our beliefs and our ideologies and scare us. But again, I believe that more, we're more united. What do you feel is a way that we're more united and how do you feel that more people can unite on that? Oh my gosh. We are not really that divided as human beings, as Americans. We're, in general, a peaceful people, a very gracious, a very forgiving people. People in their own daily life have friends of all races. They live and work in multicultural environments all the time. And yet you read the newspaper, mainstream news, and they'll t it, it, it sounds like we're at racial war with exactly, each other. Right. It's not true. Exactly. So my advice is not to listen to the media <laughs> and just pay attention. Well, listen to me, though. <laughs> to pay, right. I'm saying, but pay attention to your own daily observation. A, a better way to say that is don't let some quote unquote expert trump your own daily observation. If you are able to live and work successfully in a multicultural, multiracial, diverse environment without feeling threatened, which is really all exactly, of us, right, exactly. then don't believe people who tell you differently. It's amazing. And like I said, when you, when you pay attention and you look at good resources like yourself, you find the truth and you can listen to almost anything and be able to pick the truth out of it. That's right. Dr. Simongo, thank you so much. Thank I really you. appreciate it. Look forward to having you on some more. Thank you. Please, everybody, share the video. We've got some more interviews coming up. Thank you so much.